I don't know if anybody out there can relate, but like, I have a hard time with life sometimes. Right. Sometimes it's great, but a lot of times for me, it's really hard. And, um, and no matter how I'm feeling, like, I always find myself like struggling with certain patterns of behavior. I find myself like stuck in like a, in like the same thing that keeps repeating over and over again. And I'm just like, how do I end up, how am I in this? And it's that moment where you're in it and then you kind of separate yourself from that situation and you look at it and you see it for what it is and you, you're able to then do something about it. Like you've, you've now broken out of that, that circle, that cycle. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Davy J Today. I'm your host, Davy J, and today we are going to do something spectacular. But first off, what can be said about the band Linkin Park that hasn't been said already? We are here today to open a box set of one of the best-selling albums of all time. How well did it sell? Well, Hybrid Theory has sold over 20.8 million albums worldwide, making it number 47 on the list of the top 50 best-selling albums of all time. Number one being Michael Jackson's Thriller, and number 27 being Abbey Road by The Beatles. To be in such great company is what makes this album so special. Without further ado, let's open this jam-packed 20th anniversary box set of Linkin Park's Hybrid Theory. This was an album that you could listen to from front to back, all the way through. And it's unfortunate, you know, we are in the age of Spotify, and unfortunately, we don't have too many albums like that anymore. But every once in a while, you get this amazing piece of physical media, and that's what we have here. Now let's take a look. What does this have to offer? Linkin Park Hybrid Theory 20th Anniversary Edition Box Set. Limited Edition Deluxe Box Set includes three CDs of B-sides, live tracks, demos, rare and unreleased material, Hybrid Theory, and reanimation on CD and LP. The Hybrid Theory EP on vinyl for the first time ever. That one I'm really excited about. Three DVDs, including previously unreleased concerts and backstage footage, plus an 84-page book featuring never-before-seen photos and band interviews, three exclusive lithographs with art by Mike Shinoda, Joe Hahn, and Frank Maddox, and of course the 18 by 24 inch poster, Project Revolution, Laminate, and Street Team Cassette Sampler. Can't wait to check out an audio cassette. When was the last time you listened to a tape? Uh, I listen to them quite frequently just because I'm a fan of old physical media, but hey. I... And I always like to go ahead and grab the hype sticker and put it right on the front of the box. I put it on the front so it looks like this. Just like that. Oh, cool. This kind of comes off. I'll go ahead and, I don't know, I'll either put this in the box or tape it to the back. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> and I like how the box has a really nice matte black finish. First up is that 85 page book. Uh, this has like pictures of the bands, some interviews, stuff like that. Here's a quick preview. Stuff like that, you know, stuff like this. Yep. Here's the first lithograph. It's about a 12 by 12, the size of a cover of a vinyl LP. And here's the second lithograph. Again, these are all 12 by 12 inches. And here is the last lithograph. Can you see it? Just the heads of the members of the band. Pretty cool. Oh, here's the cool poster of Chester Bennington's flame arm tattoos so he's basically at a live concert and chester is doing what he's doing in that picture really you see these cool tattoos on his arms these flames the reason he has flames on his arms by the way is because he is an aries which is a fire sign so that's why he got those tattoos very cool can't wait to put that up somewhere here we are starting with the first vinyl this is their debut album, Hybrid Theory. It's a gatefold. Here's the back. Very cool. Let's see. What? 
Okay, not for nothing. I'm a little bit upset because these are just paper sleeves. So I get this $200 box set and you're going to give me paper sleeves for all the vinyl records? Seriously? Like, look at that. I'm not a fan of paper sleeves. And if you're paying top dollar like this, frankly, you shouldn't have records with paper sleeves because they leave the paper residue. If I could suggest MoFi original master sleeves, these sleeves are amazing and the definitive way to store your records perfectly. Get rid of those paper sleeves because they ruin discs. Store your discs in something super high quality with these MoFi original wax master sleeves. Anyways, here's the disc. They're very plain. Here's side two. Pretty cool. Here is the second vinyl record, Linkin Park's Reanimation. And if you've ever heard the Reanimation album, it is essentially just a remix of Hybrid Theory and some of the songs off Hybrid Theory and their first EP, Hybrid Theory. I like how it has a Gundam on it. That's really cool. Obviously, these guys were into anime way before it was cool. <laughs> Check this out. Also a cool gatefold. Let's see. Okay. Oh, this is two discs. Cool. Um, and again, I'm not really going to show you the disc. It's just a black vinyl LP. You've seen one, you've seen them all. I will be switching them out for the waxy, high-quality sleeves. And here's the creme de la creme. Hybrid Theory on Vinyl LP. Here's the front cover. And this is on vinyl for the first time ever. I think before it was only available on CD. And even the Hybrid Theory, and that's the name of the band, not necessarily the album. Anyways, before they were Linkin Park, they came out with this EP. Here's the back. Some of the tracks on it. I think I will go through the trouble with showing you the reverse side of this disc because on one side it's a picture disc so see all the tracks are on this side but check it out you got an LP logo on the back how cool is that Can you see that focus isn't that awesome very cool here's LPU rarities this is the first CD Check it out. That's what it looks like. But here's the second CD, Forgotten Demos. This is what Forgotten Demos looks like on CD. Here is Linkin Park Reanimation. This is the third CD that came with this box set. And these are just cardboard sleeves, nothing fancy. That's what the CD looks like visually. And this is the fourth CD. This is Hybrid Theory on CD in a cardboard sleeve. This is what the CD looks like. And this is the first DVD, Project Revolution, the sequel to the DVD with the worst name we've ever come up with. Has a bunch of live shows. I read somewhere that they did over 350 concerts in 2001. Wow, talk about being workhorses. One of those concerts of which was Family Values Tour, which stopped by St. Paul, Minnesota at the XL Energy Center, which, fun fact, the Minnesota Wild, my Minnesota Wild, play at the XL Energy Center. In 2001, I was in eighth grade. It was the first concert I had ever been to at the Family Values Tour. We're talking Stained, Stone Temple Pilots, Static X, Linkin Park. It was so fun. I loved it. Linkin Park in their prime. How much better does it get than that? This is the second DVD, Frat Party at the Pancake Festival. That other DVD was the sequel to this, the DVD with the worst name ever, or the worst name we've ever came up with. Also, just a live concert. Here's what it looks like. And it's just very plain and black. Cardboard sleeve, nothing fancy. Oh, here's the fifth CD. B-Sides and Rarities. This has the BBC sessions on it. Step Up, My December, A Place for My Head are amongst some of the tracks on this live album. Here is the last DVD, Live at the Fillmore 2001. 
as well as the Rock'em Ring 2001 concert. I love that Rock'em Ring 2001 concert because it is the Lincoln Park that I saw in 2001 in eighth grade at the Family Values Tour, but also this was only like a month later when they played the Rock'em Ring in Europe and they were just in their prime. Hybrid Theory had come out like eight months prior and they were just kicking ass, right? So can't wait to watch this DVD. I know what you've all been waiting for, which is the reason why I bought this box set in the first place. Just kidding. But here's the Street Team sampler cassette. Oh, here's what it looks like. It's a reproduction of the sampler. It only has two tracks. It has One Step Closer, and then With You on the other side. Oh, here's what the back looks like. If you're curious. And here's the VIP All Access Pass for Project Revolution. Every box set comes with this. I feel like a VIP, right? Because here we are with the VIP Pass, the Backstage Pass, right? Man, this is pretty cool. Anyways, that's all that's in here. There's barely anything in this box set. No, I'm just kidding. There's a ton of cool stuff in this box set. I can't wait to listen to these albums, load them up onto my computer, then throw them on my iPod, my external hard drive, and just uh, give it a listen, go back in time, hear some of those rare demos. I know some of them are available on Spotify, so if you don't want to buy the box set, and I don't blame you if you don't want to, uh, the demos are available though, most of them, some of them are available on Spotify. There's definitely some on YouTube as well, so check them out there if you want to, but if you're a huge diehard Linkin Park fan, I highly urge you to go out and get this box set. I know the Meteorora 20th anniversary box set will be releasing on April 7th. Very excited for that. I should get a copy of that as well. There's something special and unique about our senses that take us back to a specific period of time, maybe bring back a memory that's just too hard to deny. And that's what Linkin Park does to me. It takes me back to riding around. I believe I was in seventh grade riding on the bus to junior high. And those were good times. I popped Linkin Park Hybrid Theory into my Discman and threw the headphones on. And I was just Mr. Cool at my skateboard, Mr. Rebellious, you know. And uh, yeah, that's what the old school Linkin Park reminds me of. Um, good times. I had a blast in junior high and high school. So yeah, it brings back good memories, good friends, good times. And uh, I can't wait to relive that. Give this a listen, read the book, throw up the posters and the cool lithographs, um, have them displayed on my walls here. And yeah, I'm excited to revisit Linkin Park's hybrid theory with this beautiful box set. That's all I have. Stay tuned for much, much more in the future here, right here on Davy J Today. And that's all I have. I've said my piece. Now it's time to hear yours. <laughs> Last request, please stand clear from door 